Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawk Ridge Systems, here today with another SolidWorks Tips and Tricks video. Occasionally when working with large assemblies, particularly those with several layers of sub-assemblies like we have in this dump truck model here, there's a need to select many or even all of the components of the assembly without selecting the sub-assemblies themselves. And one great example of this that we hear in tech support is we have users who want to adjust the material of all the components of a design at the same time. In this video we're going to demonstrate a quick strategy to select all the components of an assembly without the limitations imposed by using select all. Because that's the natural first thought. Well if I use control A or I use the selection menu to select everything, uh, you would expect to be able to right click and access a material menu. But what you'll find is that select all is actually selecting the sub-assemblies rather than the components within them and you can see that in the hydraulic cylinder subassembly that we have here. None of the components are selected. And when a subassembly is selected, the material option in the shortcut menu either won't exist or it'll only show the customized menu option, so we're out of luck there. Now, if the assembly doesn't have many subassemblies, this may be perfectly acceptable as you could do a control A and select everything and then just deselect the subassembly and choose the components. But that's not something we really want to have to deal with, especially when we have many layers of subassemblies. So how do we get around this? Well, we always want to work smarter rather than harder, so this is where the Advanced Select tool comes in. If you haven't seen it before, it's up in the Selection menu here. Using the drop-down at the very bottom, you'll see Advanced Select. Here you can define different searches based on arguments and categories that you provide. There's a lot of different options for categories, and you may have to fill out a second category as well, but some of them include things like part mass, we have configuration name, and in our case we want to use document name. Now if you're looking closely you may see file type and wondering why we aren't using that. That's actually specific to searching for files of sheet metal or weldment or library feature part type as opposed to parts versus assemblies. So we're going to use document name and then we need to set our condition. You'll see in this case we have is exactly, is not, or contains, which is the one that we'll use, and these are going to vary based on the category that you select. And then for a value, we have to get a little bit clever here. So we're looking for parts only rather than assemblies. So what I can do is type in sldprt for the file extension, and then I can click apply. And what you'll notice in the feature manager design tree is that only parts have been selected and all of the parts have been selected, so it doesn't ignore those components within subassemblies, but it does ignore the subassemblies themselves. And this is a great way to very quickly select all the components, and a right click with all these components selected will reveal a material option with all of the options that you would expect. Now before we close up advanced component selection, I also want to mention that you can name these searches and save them for quick reference. So if I want to name this search select components, for example, click my save disk and move over to manage searches, I can even add this to my favorites. And when I do this, what you'll find now is even if I clear my cursor, I can always go back to the selection dropdown and at the bottom all of my favorite searches are there. So a simple click is going to select all those components anytime I need them. From here, just for fun, we'll go ahead and change the material and I'm going to do something fun like titanium. Let's go grab a titanium alloy. If you've ever wanted to see what a commercially pure titanium dump truck looks like, now's your chance. We'll go ahead and apply this and then close it down. And there you have it. Now there's a couple additional appearances bleeding through, but we can be sure that all those materials are set properly. And that's significantly faster than trying to use all and then filter out your selections and we've got our search saved, so we can always recall it anytime we need it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any other clever ways for using Advanced Select, please feel free to let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.